Hi guys, what's up? This was a solo of pride and joy by my favorite blues player of all times, Stevie Ray Vaughan, my solos in peace. Not so easy to nail down, but with a little bit of effort and after you'll watch my tutorial, I'm sure you'll advance toward conquering the goal. So what are we waiting for? Let's start. We'll start by looking at the scale that this solo is based on and we will see two positions. The first one is the open position of the E blues scale. It sounds like that. The second position on the 12th fret, okay, start on the 12th fret with my first finger and it looks like that. Okay, this is one octave higher than the open position. Now, let's move to the solo itself. Alright, so this is the first section and let's see what I'm doing here. I'm sliding my second and first finger toward the 13th fret of the G string and 12th fret of the B string respectively. So it sounds like that. Okay, now I'm playing two more times and actually what I have here is three notes okay, in a group. Okay, I have groups of three notes called triplet. So Okay, one, two, three. Now I'm playing one more time. Okay, I, I repeat. Uh, I repeat it, so it sounds like that. Now I want to play three more groups of this shape. Okay, each group has three notes. One, two, three. So, uh, I actually I have five groups of three notes, so everything from start sounds like that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I'm taking this shape and I'm sliding it toward the 16th fret of the G string and the 15th fret of the B string. Okay, the same shape with the same fingers. And I'm playing uh, four groups of three notes. Okay, so it sounds like that with one slide. Two, three, four. Okay, everything from start to end sound like that. Two, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going again to the 13th fret and the 12th fret, okay, of the G and B string, and I'm playing again with one slide this time. Two, three, four. Four groups of three notes. Okay, so two, three, four. Everything sounds like that. Now I'm bending from the 14th fret of the G string, full bend. And I'm barring with my first finger the 12th fret of the B and high E string and I'm playing twice. Okay, so... Now my pinky is going to the 15th fret of the B string. Okay, with a short bend here, very short, less than quarter note I think. And then I'm playing twice on the barred 12th fret again. And again. And again. So for three times. So it sounds like that. I'm still barring my first finger on the 12th fret, okay? Every, okay, all the time. So after that, my pinky goes to the 15th fret of the high E string uh, with small bend here also. Then I'm playing the barred 
12th fret of the B and high E string, both of them. And then I'm playing only the B string on the 12th fret. Okay, so, excuse me. Okay, so everything. Now, I want to say a few words about my right hand. I'm playing downstrokes all the time. And this is what characterizes Stevie's playing, okay? And let's continue. After that, I'm bending from the 14th fret of the G string. And then I'm playing the B string. I'm barring again my first finger on the B and high E string on the 12th fret. And I'm playing the B string and then both the B and high E string. Okay, you can play uh, two times of both B and high E string, like that. Okay, it doesn't matter actually. Uh, and after that, uh, my pinky goes to the 15th fret of the B string. Okay, and then I'm bending again from the 14th fret full bend. Okay, so from start to end it sounds like that very very slowly so pay attention now i'm releasing the bend and i'm playing the 14th fret of the g string then pull up to 12 then 14 on the d string and 12 on the G string, okay? And then, right after that, I'm bending from the 14th fret full bend four times. So it sounds like that. Then I'm releasing the bend, I'm playing the 14th fret, move to 12, 14 on the D string, and 12 on the G string. With, with vibrato here, okay? And then, so it's something like that, okay? All right, now I'm on the 14th fret of the D string, pulling up to 12 on the D string, and then A string 14, okay? So it sounds like that. Now I'm going to the G string 14th fret full bend and then I'm barring the 12th fret of the B and high E string and I'm playing the B string 12th fret then upstroke on the 12th fret high E string downstroke on the B string 12th fret and then with my pinky 15th fret okay so so everything sounds like that Now, I'm on the 14th fret of the G string with my 3rd finger and I want to slide down the neck towards the 2nd fret of the G string. So it sounds like that. I'm picking here on the 14th and then... And right after the slide, I'm bending full bend from the 2nd fret. Okay, and then I'm releasing the bend, move to the open G string, I'm playing the second fret of the D string so sound like that okay and then I'm playing the open G string hammer on to the first fret with my first finger and then I'm playing upstroke on the high E and B strings open okay so so Everything very slowly sounds like that.